what this ultimately does is not i guess make me just an ambassador for south australia which itself is such an honor to be to, to have people go we think you do us proud wherever you go i mean i guess i've represented south australia different stuff and australia at different forums but to actually begin officially the title and go here you're an ambassador for us that is, is amazing but i guess it's the opportunities that come with being an ambassador and being able to talk about issues that people of course usually don't want to talk about i see it as a door open and i hope i can take all the opportunities that come my way and really use them to continue doing my advocacy because that's what i am most and it's my number one priority advocacy and this gives me the opportunity to do that at a larger scale and i'm going to grab it with two hands by the horn by the bull whatever they say <laughs> i want to be more than myself i think that's what it comes down to i really don't want my existence to be all about me and my problems and the things i go to my whole life goal and life ambition is to make a difference my little baby at the moment is called Chocolate Magazine, which is a magazine for African young women. Not limited to African young women, but of course, with everything in life, you need to have a focus. You need to have an audience you're targeting, and that's my audience. And because it's because African young women are a minority within a minority. And but most importantly, they have gone through so much. The experiences these young girls have had, some of them have been raped during the war, have their parents killed during the war. Some of them are here as orphans. Some of them are here and they're going through domestic violence situations. Some of them are here. They're teen, you know, parents. They have children themselves. I want their stories to be told. I want them to have a positive representation in the media. Where it's not the media making them out to be something they're not. Because they're resilient, strong, independent women who have just gone through bad things that were not... It's not their fault. But now they have an opportunity and I want them to grab every single one of those opportunities. That's what Chocolate Magazine means. It's for me giving back to my community something tangible, something practical, but most of all, something we're missing and lacking. That's what it means.